You're about to unlock email settings on WP Forms and make your life a million times easier. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified. If you want to make money online as an affiliate marketer using YouTube and blogging. And our video starts right now. Let's go. Hi, my name is Yogesh. Welcome to my channel, Utilize Your Business. Today, I want to talk to you about something that will make your life much easier. No more waiting for people to confirm their email address before sending confirmation message. It's called WP Form. It's a form builder and it's the best way to build form without any coding skill. And in this video, I'm going to teach a step by step how to set up correctly email settings inside the WP Form. Now, my assumption is if you're watching this video, you probably have some issues setting up email settings in WP Forms. Let me know in the comment, yes or no. So it's always harder for me to get the correct email address and start sending the confirmation messages for the people who have actually submit their email address. And the frustration part was, was it that sometimes the email wouldn't reach the right person or I was waiting for the email address to be confirmed that is the correct email address. Till I started using the WP form. The WP forms make my life much easier and the best way to use WP forms is to have the correct email settings. If you don't have the correct email settings, you're going to be frustrated and pulling your hair about not getting the right emails and you know where your messages are landing. So let's go ahead and I'll show you step by step from downloading the uh, WP form plugin onto your WordPress website and what are the email settings you need to set it up so that you can get these form filled and you know have the confirmation message going back to the person who will actually fill the form in it makes your life much easier and it's all on automation so first thing you need to do is go back into your back end of uh, wordpress website and add the plugin wp form now if you do have an account uh, great if you don't these are all the pricing for the different features depending on where you are at in your business and what you need. I currently have the Pro because I do have more than one website and these are the features that best suited my uh, business. But you can choose, to, you can get started from uh, the basic and then you can always move up. Now once you have the account set up, you will go into your account and click on your download and download the uh, WP form. And then you go to plugin, add new, and file that you've downloaded it. You just go to upload the plugin, and either you can drag the file here or choose the file. So I already have this feature WP form in already installed. Then what you need to do is go to the WP form and activate it. Activate into the settings and then you need to activate your license key so i'm just going to pause it and activate this so once you have your license key activated and verified it what you need to do is head on to the email and then you will have these these things that you need to do the settings on how to set it up well we will do is we'll just Head down straight to the form setting and show you how to set up the email settings so so click on the add new and this is where you have all different templates that you can use for this video what you can do is use the simple contact form this is the simple contact form it has your name the first name the email the message that the sender is sending to you and the send button right so this is fairly easy now what you need to do is go in here and set up the settings so the first one is the notification and then I'm just going to go through step by step explain all these notification and what sort of changes if you want it you can make it so when somebody's submit a message or submits a form the automatically by default it goes to the admin email address of the website now if you want to change that or 
you want to make sure it also goes back to the person who actually sent it there is this one here show smart and then email and then you can do the field name which is this the one that's in the form and also the end uh, the admin email so that's the first thing you do the second one is the email subject line now you can change that to whatever forms you have it or leave it as it is now I will say that since if you're sending it back to this just uh, change the subject line so the the sender uh, the person who is actually put in the form actually knows uh, where you're getting it from so change the form and then from name uh, this is your website name is to use solution or you can put your name to make it more personal the email it is the admin email or you can also here you can also instead of admin email you can say from the you know different email address you have it for your website such as the uh, support at uh, you know easy to use solution or you know if you want to be more personalized you can you know use your name inside you know say when your yogesh at uh, easy to solution .com. so whatever it is again you can you know have it here so that there and then you can change this to uh, whatever email address that you wanted so the next thing is to reply to the emails if you leave it the email address if you leave this blank by default it will go to your the admin email of the uh, website or you can put it whatever email you want with the available fields now the next thing we do is email message now by default it has all fields so whatever information the sender has printed it goes here and it tells you what it is or if for whatever reason you don't want to send back uh, all the information again you can use this choose whatever things you want it on the form that uh, they do so just select that and it will show there and also you can also have some customized uh, message write something like that or you know whatever you're using this form for because for specific reason form is specific to product or you know they're inquiring about that product whatever it is you can make that now the other thing that you can do is enable conditional logic what that is is you can also have conditions if the uh, somebody who's actually inputting the field just make sure that they're inputting their email you know make sure the email is the correct and then you can just um, add it so we'll make sure that the email is is the correct email that they have inputted in then you, the form will be sent to uh, for the confirmation so which is really good or you can just say you know if they have sent some messages whatever it is these are all the conditional if these condition are fulfilled they will get the messages and after that what you need to do is you need to save it and then you just want to go to the confirmation this is what when somebody input the form in i uh, just want to make sure that they're getting some sort of messages from you that you already put it there or what you can do is you can actually redirect to something else once they have input the information required you can go to show pages on your website the home you know you can redirect them to your blogging page or specifically you want it or what you can do is go to the uh, redirect the url you know some sort of uh, thank you page or some sort of an offer that you wanted it or in my case what i can do is send them to my youtube channel and you know they can be uh, you know ask them to subscribe to my youtube channel so these are things that you can put it in uh, once you do that we will just do the add in new confirmation confirmation name and so this is my redirect to the to the youtube channel and what i'll do is save okay so the save it's all the all that is there now let's go back into the okay so now what we have is a short cord so either you can use this so you can do that uh, 
and put it into the your pages so we'll have the contact us page right here uh, let's edit that and here you can just put this or what you can do is I believe if you're using it they might have the WP form yet yeah, right here and select a form this is what it is the form message and everything and that's it or you can get rid of this and update it right and let's preview it right here it is and let's see and I submit and that's it and voila it's redirects me to this meantime I have all the information and you know the person who have done it can subscribe to my channel and at the same time I can get back to them with all the information so let me know in comment was that eye opener and did you get some value of um, watching this video like it and make some comment so at least I know the videos that I'm doing are they are useful to the audience that uh, I'm presenting to you so you've just learned how to set up correctly WP forms email setting so that you are getting the correct emails and sending uh, the confirmation email to that person. Thank you very much and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notified so that you are notified for any new videos to be do come at it. In the meantime, do watch my older videos. There are older videos on all kind of web hosting, on the SEO, on the YouTube, blogging, and for that matter, a couple of other product reviews that I do on a regular basis that will help you to make money online. All right, see you till next video. Bye, guys.